Well, Steve Bartlett wasn't elected to serve here in Congress, but he's working pretty hard. He is one of the key players in the fight over the Dodd-Frank financial reform law. In the years since Dodd-Frank became law, Bartlett, who's the head of the Financial Services Roundtable, has been lobbying Congress to soften many of the rules. Steve Bartlett is here with me this morning. Welcome to In Business. Thank you, Margaret. Good and to be here. This is the one-year anniversary. It is. Treasury Secretary had an op-ed today in the Wall right. Street Journal. I want to put up a quote from that. Right. Uh, he basically said, you know, the entire system is safer right now. He said, quote, by almost any measure, the U.S. financial system uh, is much stronger in shape, not just relative to the depth of the crisis, but also relative to the conditions that prevailed before it hit. Also indicated that there were those who wanted to weaken it in a way to make it ineffective. Well, he said he's that, but I didn't. You. No, he said that, but I didn't say that. Okay. So I'm not sure what he's where, where he's getting that. That's just simply not not true. I, I think I agree with him is what he what he said. I think Dodd Frank has improved mm -hmm. things in a lot of ways. Capital is up, 70 percent of the 19 largest bank holding companies, 300 billion dollars of additional capital, and that's before Dodd Frank has ever gotten effective. Mm -hmm. A better systemic regulation. The regulatory agencies are more embedded in the large large companies, and there's a lot right about Dodd Frank. Uh, uh, there's some places that had unintended consequences that I think at some point, uh, you know, we have to figure out is that what we in, what we intended. I guess the other one is no more subprime loans. Now, mm -hmm. people who need subprime loans, they may not agree with that, but, but subprime loans that couldn't be repaid were part of the problem. And when you think about it, they've simply gone away at this point. Uh, well, you say it's effective. You, you say I think it has, it, has, it's had some effective parts to it. There are yeah. still two dozen uh, bills in. Congress right now to try to change that law itself. What is right. your top priority? Well, there's no law that's that's sacred. My, well, a couple, and I don't know that there's any legislation that's going to pass any anytime soon. But a couple of concerns. One is the cumulative weight. I think Ben Bernanke answered this question. He was asked, "What has anybody ever studied the cumulative weight of all 2,300 pages?" That question. Yeah. Right. And Ben Bernanke said. Well, no, actually nobody's ever studied the cumulative weight. Uh, so we've done a little study on it and it looks like there are some problems uh, with it. Um, the cost to the government alone is $1.8 billion just for the government workers to to, 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 to monitor Dodd-Frank, to regulate Dodd-Frank. You mean funding of the agencies Funding of the agencies, just, just the 3,000 new, new employees. Okay? So that's a lot, actually. But the bigger cost and the question is, is will the cumulative weight cause a reduction of the availability of capital because mm -hmm. Dodd Frank is about regulating financial institutions and financial institutions are about financing the economy right so if you can't finance the economy then bad things happen so we don't know the we don't know the answer to that yet but it appears that the cumulative weight of Dodd Frank might in fact reduce the economic activity reduce jobs you reduce think that's what's keeping the banks from actually lending oh no 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 i think it's consumer demand that's holding things down and by the way but banks, there is banks demand are, there but in banks, terms of the velocity of money and, though and that's banks not. are lending uh report out yesterday the second quarter to earnings. businesses but to individuals it's still quite constrained no, actually it's actually it's not you can get a loan the credit card credit cards are available the consumer loans are, are available and business loans are available it, it, consumer loan consumer demand is down so fewer fewer consumers want to borrow and that's a good thing i mean so the velocity of money ha has slowed dramatically, right. and we can debate the cause right, of right, that. Right. But let's talk about consumer protection sure. because this yeah. is very much a hot right. button issue right. um, for you in particular. And we do we have seen uh, the White House come out with a different right. nominee, not Elizabeth right. Warren, right. Um, Rich Cordray here. Are you supportive of him in any way uh, without the creation of a commission? I mean, can you support a oh, director? Well, we're going to call if he, if he becomes a director, we're going to call him boss. So we'll be very re respectful. I think he's a smart guy. I think he's a very professional attorney. Is he he's a good, good attorney. Well, the Senate says he's not. So I don't have, I, you know, that I don't have the ability to do much ab about that. Uh, Senator Shelby has said that he doesn't plan to confirm him uh, absent a five-member commission. If the Senate appoints him in, in recess, if the president uh, appoints him in recess, so what I will you do? I'll, I, we're going, to, we're going to call him boss. We're going to say, yes, sir, you know, where would you like us to sit? And we're going to work with him. We want better consumer protection. The consumer uh, the notices have become more transparent. The fees are much more understandable. So there have been some improvement in consumer protection. So we support having better consumer protection. I think Richard Cordray, you know, if, if he becomes a director, I think he'll be fine and we'll, we'll work with him. The better issue, the better question, or the better issue, the bigger issue is should it be a sole director right. with a sole czar-like authority? 
We didn't we think it should have been a sole com director in the first place. We th still think it ought to be a commission, like the SEC, the yeah. Federal Reserve, the FDIC, and all the other agencies. All right. Well, Steve, I know you've got uh, a lot to, to get to on that front. We're going to track your progress, and then the next.